Hi, I'm Lisa Heiner. I'm with Classic Party Rentals in Charlotte. Today is Thursday and we are here setting up a tent for a wedding on Saturday at the Green. Green is a unique space, has three different tiers. There's an upper tier, a middle tier, and a lower tier. The reception is going to be in the lower tier as you see behind us. The middle tier is basically going to be the cocktail hour. There's going to be a tent for that. And the upper tier is going to have our, um, our actual ceremony. If worst case scenario, we will move the ceremony underneath the tent. The bride that we're working with for this weekend had a really neat idea of what she wanted. Definitely an outdoor feel. That's why she wanted to do it here at the Green. Going to be doing a clear top tent for her ceremony and a reception, trying to keep the elements of the city going. But definitely a very earthy environment. Um, she's doing some neat stuff. We're installing some cables, and they're going to hang some really cool butterflies from it. She has a very neat color scheme going with some really hot pink fun colors. We're doing a neat checkered dance floor, black and white check, a stage. Um, we're doing fun shivari chairs, silver for the actual uh, reception. The ceremony is going to be a nice white crisp uh, shivari chair. Our bride for this weekend is going to be doing some tent draping, uh, some tent pole drapes. And the guys are going to come back out on Saturday to get everything installed then to make it really crisp and, and fresh. So if there's any elements that we have to worry about on Friday in between now and, and Saturday, um, so the tent drapes will be nice and fresh and flowy and pretty. Typically what we've found, it's best to have a backup plan, a rain plan per se, um, so that if you have a nice tent installed like this, maybe at the last minute, maybe the Saturday of the wedding, um, bring in um, sidewall, whether it be clear, window, solid, whatever the bride is looking for just as something to, to keep the elements contained if it does happen to be a torrential downpour. Some things to keep in mind, um, obviously you'll need a tent for your, for your reception and for your ceremony, uh, but the things to keep in mind for us, if, if your band is going to need a dressing area, somewhere they need to relax or hang out, if the caterer is obviously going to need somewhere that's enclosed that they can do all of their special magic, anyone else that might be on site, that you know, entertainers, any decor people that need something that's it's hidden from the guests, that's a good, good thing to remember. Other, other tents are needed. As with most tents, um, it really just depends on the location where we're installing it, um, whether we'll use, water, if we're able to use stakes, staking is great. If, if not, we're able to use water barrels, which the guys are gonna install shortly. If it's an area where we can't stake in the ground because of uh, power lines, water lines, gas lines, anything that might get in the way, or if we're doing something on concrete or asphalt. Typically like to get here a couple of days ahead of time, if, if possible, it depends on the location. Um, it, it helps just for us to be able to get everything in place. If there's anything that comes up last minute, we're not rushing, the bride's not scared. It just makes for a much smoother install. At Classic, we have a party CAD system that all of the, all of the event coordinators use to help the bride envision what they're, what they're trying to get across. Um, we can do everything to scale so that we're showing where the dance floor is going to be, where the stage is going to be, where her, her tables are going to be in placement with that. Um, and it helps our guys to have that diagram on site, helps us to have everything to scale so we know what's going to fit, and makes the, the bride feel like everything's been covered. The bride's event this weekend is going to be in, in this uptown setting, but as the sun goes down, she is going to need some lighting, and we're going to be doing some neat colored gels in, in the um, tent, accenting her bars, her butterflies that she's doing the decor. Uh, pink gels, we can do up lighting, we can do can lights on particular items. It's going to be a great wash of color. It's, it's something that has to happen at night. You want that kind of ambiance and, and candlelight, but the, the gel lights are just going to be a really nice pop.